This shouldn't be too hard to tackle. Hey, buddy. Ow. Okay, first things first, light things up a lot. Mm. Come on. I needed that ladder. Okay. A quick breather. Hey, other buddy. Much better. I think I have forgotten how bad an unenchanted iron sword is. <laughs> it's not that good. I think I'm going to call this the Creeper Cove. Alright, I'd say that suffices for now. I'll tackle the other part another time. This is a lot of exposed resources though, and a lot of gold. And what are you guys? Tortoise. 30 hearts. I don't know if I can use you guys for anything. Well, you're not hurting me, so I'm not gonna hurt you. Sadly, this is in diamond level. Oh! Well, okay. There we go. <laughs> How many we got? Three. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, what I'm really here for is actually this. Obsidian. Which I just realized I can actually vein mine. Which could be a good idea, but it could also be a bad idea. Oh, it was a good idea. Still a good idea. Still a, well, mostly a good idea. That's everything that I needed from this place. Hmm. Definitely worth it. And ladder fixed. Overall, a very, very good trip. Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. In today's episode, I want to do a lot of progress. I'm not sure how much of it we're gonna get done, but I really want to work towards getting this, the Vault Altar. So we're gonna see how far we can get. First things first, I want to go to the nether, which is why I grabbed this obsidian. And it would appear I have no flint whatsoever. Alrighty then, where do I have gravel, 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 aha, gravel, flint, which makes flint and steel, perfect. Now where am I gonna place this? I want it close to my home, but I don't want it to be too close, hmm, yeah, this will work, boom, and we're gonna go through the portal and hope that we've gotten a good nether spawn. So far, so good. All right. Okay. Not too bad. All right, turning off that fog so we can properly see. Oh, piglins. Yeah, that... Mm. Remember, I do have iron armor, but in this pack it is as if I had, well, leather armor, and yeah, that's not a whole lot of armor to have in the nether. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we have another fortress nearby, so it looks like we will have to go exploring a little. Now mind. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. We have a fortress. <laughs> that is exactly what I needed. I should have probably made a waypoint where my portal is, but it, it's fine. Guys, fortress. Now, the likelihood of me dying here is... It's high. Because, again, my armor. There's a blaze spawner. We have, I do have a cobblestone, okay. I can take over that spawner fairly easily, hopefully. And I will want to get nether ward as well. Oh boy, not you guys. Oh wait, there's a spawner right there. That's even more ideal. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do this because I don't trust any of this. Right. Um. Okay. Um, got an idea. Aha! 
Ow. Okay, not a solid one. Not a solid one. Definitely not a solid one. <laughs> okay, got one of them. Yowza. That's a little too close for comfort, guys. Okay. Wait. Let me... Let me big bring this. Okay. This is that floor. There we go, my first place rod. Right. Oh, this is... This is kind of working. Huh. This is a bit more dangerous than I had thought. Okay, I have seven in total. Need a little bit more. Ten. Alright, I think ten should do it. I'm out of there. <laughs> that was honestly fairly easy, though. Not gonna lie. What I will need... Okay, nope, not there, not there. I forgot, I forgot. Okay, next objective. Whoop. Get inside the forest. Forest? No, fortress. Okay. If I get inside, I might be able to loot some chests. Which would be... Haha. -ha. You missed. Which would be ideal. Okay, ooh, chest, already. There might be diamonds in these, which I do need. Ooh, a lot of chests here, okay. Chest number one. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'll take everything, and I'll take the chests as well, because they look, they look decent. <laughs> okay, flint and steel, that's not, not as exciting, not gonna lie. Ooh, another wood, okay, I'll get back to that. Yes, diamonds, that's what I wanted. Beautiful. I will want all of this nether wart. And give me all the soul sand as well. A bomb! Hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. Going further down. Ooh, another diamond. Perfect. And a dead end. Another one. Two more diamonds. Nice. Okay, I believe I have gone through most of the insides of this portal, or uh, fortress, sorry. And I think... Yeah, that's where I were. Right, I don't think I've been over there, though. There's only one way to find out, really. Ow, he actually got me. He actually got me. Alright, buddy. I wanna fight? I can fight. There we go. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, okay. You know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. It's been a good run so far. I'm not about to lose it. <laughs> okay, this leads out. This is the spawner we were at, which means my portal is in this direction. All right, that was not a bad haul at all. We are, however, not completely done and ready to return to the overworld, because we do have this very handy biome right next to us, which means I can get ender pearls. Well, supposedly I can get ender pearls if Endermen will spawn. Okay, this guy does not seem to care. Now, how is it? Oh, are you kidding? Wow. That's a ruined portal right under my actual portal. <laughs> this mod, whatever it is, is very handy. Oh, now it shoots at me. Okay. Oh. I got it without even looking. How about that? <laughs> What do we have here? Crimson chest. Well, obsidian, iron nugget, uh, you know what? That's actually, I think that's better than my iron chest plate. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And I will definitely be grabbing this gold block. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ow. Okay, did I get the gold block at least? No, I didn't even get the gold block. I think it, I think it burned. Oh no, oh no. Quick. Jump, jump, get myself to be hungry, eat, regen, okay, good. Okay, I unfortunately didn't get the gold block, um, well, I do have a little bit of a crowded inventory, don't I? And here we are, the warped forest? I was about to say fortress, forest. Get in the boat, sir. Yep, there we go, right. And an ender pearl, first one down. Perfect. Three ender pearls so far. Oh, 
That, I think, was the first time I hadn't gotten an Ender Pearl when I killed one of these guys. Okay, and the second one. <laughs> oh, one of these guys. They'll be useful for leather. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. I think I've overstayed my welcome. <laughs> um, just a little bit. Can I get this guy before the others arrive? Oh. Okay. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Yep. I think I have time for this one guy, though. Oh, I can actually keep an eye on the minimap for the all the yellow dots have been <laughs> coming towards me. I can use that as my radar. So far, it looks like I'm all right, actually. Oh, I can use the minimap to find these guys, actually. Oh, that's very handy. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Okay, a little bit close to that one. All right. Alright, with 14 Ender Pearls, which actually, to be fair, didn't take that long, I think I now can head back home. Alright, back home we go. I just hope that it's daytime <laughs> and that I won't get ambushed by a creeper or something. Yeah, of course it's not. Of course it's not daytime. Alright, not bad loot at all. I'm slowly running out of chest space. Alright, so technically now I can actually go ahead and try and find the stronghold. Just like that. I have the Ice of Ender, but I don't think that I'm quite ready for that yet. I want to set up some villages, but I also want to get full diamond gear, because diamond is better than iron, and in my situation, we need every help that we can get. <laughs> so I want villages so I can farm for emeralds, and so I can then, in turn, buy enchanted books, so I don't have to rely on an enchantment table, and I need the diamonds to have diamond armor and diamond tools. So I think that is next. And in the last episode, I put this place aside. This, we have this, this very nice looking cave here, which I think I'm going to excavate out a little bit. And where's my shovel? I'm going to make this place look a little bit more home, home cozy and roomy. And we'll be able to place villages in here and hopefully I can get some trading going. So yeah, let me let me shape this uh, place into something that's a little bit more, yeah, nicer looking, and maybe not leave holes for creepers to drop in on an ounce saying hi. Alright, after a little bit of building, I came up with this, and it's not the best, but you know what? I'm happy with it. We got a, a better looking ceiling made out of dirt brick, and then we have cobblestone bricks in the background here as the walls. I definitely want to improve the place later on, but for now I think this will work just fine, and these are the villager uh, capsules, I guess we can call them. Speaking of which, I have three villagers in here, one, two of which are already a farmer, but I will be making, I think, one or two of these, well, actually one farmer for now. I will be getting more villagers in the very near future, but I think I will be making one farmer for now. Yeah, they do say sound while you have them in your inventory. <laughs> and the other two as librarians. And I, weirdly enough, forget how to make... I don't even recall what it is called. Lectern. I don't know how to make a lectern. Well, that's one bookshelf, but I am out of paper. So I'm going to I'm gonna put the villagers back in here for now so I can get some quiet. And then I found sugarcane over here. 
and I also see a ruined portal over here, interestingly enough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to go explore a little bit because I need I need more leather and I also need more sugarcane, both to make paper but also so I can farm it because I, uh, I may or may not have used it all. And if we explore a little bit, maybe we will find a second village because I already found this one over here when I started this world, but there wasn't that many villages in it, unfortunately, so I didn't get that much out of that. I would also like to show how you pick up villagers. I can show that either way, but finding a new village would be ideal. But first things first, I have spotted sugarcane. I think I am actually going to hop into my boat here because I see a shipwreck right over here. And then I want to see maybe if there's anything interesting over in this direction. But first I want to check out that shipwreck over here. These shipwrecks could contain a treasure map, which in turn, could contain diamonds, so this is definitely worth checking out. TNT, I guess that's worth it. Ooh, buried treasure map, there we go. And I will grab that paper, of course. All right, it appears to be in this direction. Over here somewhere by this frozen lake, which is really cool. Aha, there it is. Ooh. Emeralds, gold, iron, heart of the sea is really good, I think. Um, and, and food, I, I guess I'll take the food. No diamonds though, unfortunately. I will now be heading in this direction. This way we will explore a little bit more of the ocean and we will eventually hit land over here. Potentially a village, who knows. Imagine we just casually found, oh, that's another shipwreck. Imagine we just casually found a stronghold doing this in the ocean, that would be kind of cool. This seems to be a big one, which is really good. Uh, bamboo, very good. I'll take the gunpowder. Another buried treasure map, I like to see that. And captain's quarters, that was an iron. I'll take it. The buried treasure is... Yeah, that's the same one, unfortunately. <laughs> we got scammed. Land ho! All right, now that I'm on land, I need to be looking out for cows and a village if possible. It does not appear that we have a village in this plains biome, unfortunately. That would have been very ideal for us, though, if there were. Also, it's turning nighttime, so I should probably make a makeshift bed. Wait a minute. Sleeping bag? Huh. Okay, that works. Spares me the wood. And it even pops off when you're done with it. Okay, that's cool. My target has been spotted. Um, I don't know what this is. A thousand blocks, 400 blocks. I don't know what this means. Follow me to a village. Okay, so 400 blocks in this direction, according to that sign, should be a village. It actually did. It actually led me to a village, which means there's another village. Yeah, probably down here somewhere. Oh, that is... Huh? Was that you making that sound? Huh. Yeah, okay, I guess, I guess it was. Village, everyone. Uh, hooray! All right, let's take a look here. So on the map, it looks to be quite a large village, actually. So let's see what we have going on here. So let me show you right off the bat here. We have a villager right here, and if I just hold down shift and right click, as you can see, I picked them up, and these guys are very loud. Let, let's move somewhere else. So yeah, as you can see, I now have a village in my in my inventory. Very cool. So we actually want to pick up these guys, but we don't want to pick up the nitwits because they can't take a job. Um, yeah, these guys are useless to us. I don't know if you can use them, use two nitwits in breeding process and then get useful villagers. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Just gotta check all these houses here for potential loot. And we have a waystone over here. Very, very cool. I think, yes, I can pick this up. So this is basically a waystone and we can use this to teleport from waystone to waystone. So if I have a waystone at my base and had a waste point here, a wavestone here, I could teleport between my base and the waypoint here. So, or the wavestone, sorry, that would be here. So I think I'm gonna take this one. To craft one, we would need to use a, get a warp stone. And in this mod pack, um, yeah, 
it's a little bit expensive, so I'm gonna take this. Okay, that is a huge mountain right there. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so I could take this guy as well, but I think I'll leave him. Then they can do some breeding or whatever, expand the population a little bit since I took <laughs> some of them. Um, okay, so out of that, we got four villages. I might leave the farmer. You know what? I might leave the farmer because then they can repopulate. Um, there should be another village. Well, I think down here somewhere. Maybe down here. I am running out of inventory space though, so I wouldn't be able to grab many. But it would be nice to discover it so we know where it is in the future. And I should mention as well that as you saw, if we take a look at the waystone, it says requires research waystone. And if we go in here into the research tab, you can see we have waystones right here. So that would cost us one uh, research uh, knowledge star, I believe they're called. And that would unlock so that we could actually use the waystones. And in case you're curious, the knowledge star, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a bit expensive. These gems can only be found inside the vaults. So that will be a little bit later down the road. Speaking of waystones, I just found one randomly placed here. Huh. Okay, I didn't know you could just find them out in the open like that without it being at like a village. Well then, I, I guess that's cool. That's, well, that's very cool because they're very expensive to make. <laughs> Oh, I found another one of these. All right, what do we have here? 500 blocks, so that's the village we just came from, I believe. And this would then be 800 blocks. So that just means I am on the right track. I really like this tree. Well, mainly because the leaves are kind of my color. <laughs> Plus, it's a spruce tree. Well, it gives spruce logs, so two saplings, that should do. Okay, I still haven't found the other village, but what on earth is that? Oh, wait. We got another signpost. Packed black ice. Wow. Anyway, I've been walking for a little while here. Let's see. And now it says... Okay, so this sign said in this direction there would be a village a thousand blocks-ish. And the other signpost that was like over here somewhere, maybe like here, said, yeah. 800 blocks in this direction so and this down here just looks to be more and more mountains so i think i'm going to start heading back now my home is in this direction maybe i'll find another village over here somewhere so i'll try and go in the opposite direction now towards home and we'll see if we find something if not i will be back i will see you back home oh dear ow all right, so as you can see, I have three unspent skill points. I'm not quite home yet, as you can see, but I think I'm going to be taking a skill that is going to be very useful in the future anyways, and that is dash. Dash in the direction the player is facing can also be used in combination with elytra, which means we basically wouldn't need fireworks. And we will be able to upgrade this, and at the first tier, the dash power is obviously not that much, but the cooldown is 10 seconds, which will, again, get better the more we upgrade it. But I think I'm going to learn this, because until we get an Elytra, it will still make me go a little bit faster when I'm traversing the terrain, and might be useful, yeah, in tough situations. So I think I'm going to learn this, just like that. And I believe, yep, as you can see, that allows me to travel a li that, that little bit faster and get over ledges and whatnot, which I think is going to be really cool. And as you can see, yeah, it's also very fun to use. <laughs> All right, I am now home and now in total we have six villagers, which is really, really good. But now I need to make some work stations. First of all, I will want about two farmers, I think will be a good number to have for right now anyway. So there we go. That is two composters and the composters, composters, I guess it would be composter. And the rest, I believe I will want to be librarians, I think. All right, that is five lecterns. I believe that is actually more workstations than we have villages at this point in time. But that is quite all right. So all I need to do now is I think I'll set the farmers here. So I've got to put the workstations right here, like so. Yep, that was way too many lecterns. And then all I got to do is place the farmer in right there. Hey, buddy. And the cool thing about these guys, I just want to make sure that he actually takes his job, which he should. 
maybe. Are, are you gonna? Are you gonna switch over? So I know why the villagers aren't working. I didn't remove the old stations, which in my head makes zero sense that they have traveled over a thousand blocks from their old village to this one, and then still insist having their old jobs. It just that. It, <sighs> But not only that, I also need to head to this village because I got three of the villages from this, which I don't remember which ones it were. It, uh, it makes zero sense. Okay, I'm here at the very first village. I don't know which of these guys have a workstation here. This is a nightmare. This is actually a nightmare. Why don't they just reset when they're like over 500 blocks away? Okay, so I've managed to reset three of the villages. I don't know if it's because I removed the composter, so I assume it is because the two farmers are now gone. Okay, so this librarian right here went in and closed the door, so I think that he already belongs here, which is cool. So that is him done. All right, we're at this village now again. So I think all I gotta do is place the villager down and eventually... He's gonna walk over to his workstation so I can destroy it. Is he going to that house? Oh, he is going to that house. Get in. There we go. Break it. And reset. Beautiful. Let's see where you are located. Oh, he's gotta be here, right? So if I break this, place him down. Yep, he's reset. So that is all the villagers. <sighs> now I can go back home. <laughs> I'll see you back home. I just found on my way back another shipwreck, which I don't think we've been in yet. Yep, I was correct. I also found another one, but it wasn't a really big one. But this is one of the big ones. So maybe, just maybe, it has some good stuff in it. I don't want to drown. Aha, buried treasure map. And it is not by the other place we were at earlier. So that's good. Yep, let's see. No diamonds again. But we got some other good stuff, so that's good. All right, I'm back home now with the villagers, and I'm just going to reset all these just to be on the safe side. Close all these so they can't run out. Okay, let's try this again. So, farmer. Farmer. Oh, so you want to be a farmer then, huh? Okay, you know what? Gladly. In you go. <laughs> Oh dear me, okay, second farmer. You know what, I'm just gonna do it this way. There we go. Okay, that's one. That's two. Okay, so the other two just need to pull themselves together, I think. Right? Yeah, okay. So, now I can finally get to what I need to do. So, I want the best trades. And I believe one of the best trades are carrots. So if I cycle through these, there we go. Carrots. Carrots for emeralds and I will need to... Lock that trade in so it doesn't change. So I'll need to farm some carrots real quick. And there we go, locked in. And I want the other guy to be... I don't know if I want wheat or potatoes or carrots again. I guess I might as well do carrots. Then I have two I can do carrots with. Okay, so now I can use this right here to just get a great amount of carrots. <laughs> and I can convert them into emeralds. That's great. All right, and all the other guys have become librarians. Now, I need to choose what kind of books I really want. I obviously want mending, but for the armor, I really need protection four and unbreaking three. So those are the ones that I will be looking at. So I will be keep, I'll, oh, that was a good looting book. <laughs> Ooh, that's good too. I'll keep cycling the trades until I get exactly what I want. Looting three. That's a that's a good one, but I'm gonna skip it. I need unbreaking and protection. Unbreaking three. This is very expensive, but I will lock it in, I think. I could keep going. This is something else that I needed the books for, by the way, getting all these enchanted books. I might keep cycling it to see if I can maybe get something a little bit cheaper. Fortune 3 is really, really good. I think I'll have to take that. <laughs> that was a little bit painful, but it had to be done. Okay, this guy no longer wants carrots. I will have to wait until he resets. Oh, this guy is giving me a deal. 
less carrots for the same price. That's pretty good. All right, I like this guy. Oh, this guy is giving me uh, better prices too. All right, so that was a fortune book. Now I need to get oh efficiency five. That's expensive though. <laughs> that is expensive. Efficiency five. Fine. Fine. Fortune efficiency five. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well. Mending right off the bat. Okay. I need. Okay. I need more villagers. <laughs> I need more villagers. Okay, so I just got unbreaking. I also have mending right here, like before. Oh, this guy is more expensive now. That's that's no fun. Okay, I'm gonna lock in this unbreaking three book. I think that's actually a pretty fair price. All right, I have come to the conclusion that I need to wave bye bye to the mending book because I don't have any more villagers here and I still need protection five. So we will be able to get mending again, but we have unbreaking three. So until then, we should be all. Right, so now I need protection. Finally, protection four, but that price though. <laughs> That's a heavy price tag, but I'm gonna take it because I have not seen it up until now. So that is unbreaking three and protection four right there, which is really really good i saw a lot of other books as well and so far we have fortune 3 and efficiency 5 and of course unbreaking um which i think i will be putting on our pickaxe all right guys so i'm going to do a ton of work off camera in order to get four well three more unbreaking books and three more protection four books and then we're gonna head back down in the mine and we're gonna get enough diamonds to get all diamond tools and all diamond armor I think that's a plan, and then we can get on bringing and protection on all of it. So I'm gonna do, like I said, a bunch of stuff off camera, and I will see you hopefully at the end of it without having lost my mind. I'll see you later. All right, after a lot of trading with villagers, I finally have the books that we need. I have three, sorry, four unbreaking books and I have four protection for books. Now, what I need to do is put this unbreaking efficiency five and fortune book on my diamond pickaxe and then we're gonna go down into the mines and we're gonna get a load of diamonds. So that is what we will be doing next. I don't really think it matters which order we do this in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. There we go. And yes, I could have made a new brand new diamond pickaxe, but we will get mending eventually and that will be that. And my pickaxes and everything, I should probably get some more just in case because they do get used quite a lot when when uh, using vein miner. But I have food, I have everything else. I need to sleep. This could be a mistake, but I'm going to use another skill point today and that is upgrading uh, upgrading vein miner from level one to level two because currently I can only vein mine four blocks at a time but if I upgrade it I will be able to vein mine eight blocks at a time which is really going to improve my tunnel system so I am going to do that right now it's only going to cost one skill point so we will have one left I think that's a very satisfying sound I think that is definitely going yep to be worth it way better so I'll see you at the end of this mining session. I have been searching for so long for this right here. I I don't even know how many pickaxes, how many iron pickaxes I've gone through. Probably more than 15 or so to get to this point. Like I have made branch mine after branch mine, as you can see. And I just now decided to dig up to wild level 11 to try and branch mine up here in case there was any difference. And then I hit this cave and I find this. <laughs> Nothing in my branch mines. But as soon as I hit a cave, it shows up. Of course. Question is how big of a vein this is. Are you kidding me? It's right... It was right, right above this, which was right. Had I done? Okay. It was right next to me all along. <laughs> and these ores, these right here are so annoying because you think you found a diamond vein. And then you realize 
that you haven't. But anyways, I'm going to mine one ore at a time, no vein miner, and we will see how much we get. I have fortune three on this pickaxe, so hopefully I get more than one. Five, okay, very good. Nine, eleven, one, twelve. So now I believe we have, quick maths, twenty-seven in total. Which is not bad. But I still want more. I had originally thought of making this a little bit of a time lapse, but um, yeah, it was just too much going back and forth and not finding anything interesting. So yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going in this direction now for a little bit. I I need more. <laughs> I need more. So I may just have found. Well, not really may. I have just found. <laughs> <laughs> a huge open cave with diamonds that's literally what I was hoping to find because it is under Y level 16 okay question is are there more okay first issue first I gotta clear this and there's a big vein of diamonds over there okay I'm gonna grab this first then we're gonna grab that and then there's some of the caves that I might want to check out but that Yep, that's perfect. This is literally what I needed. Now, I don't know how big this vein is. Seems to be a two vein, but I'll take it. So, I'm not, how many do I have now? 12, so that's one. And I think two. We had 12, now we have 15. Pretty, pretty good. I'll go this way. Carefully bridge across this lava. Are you kidding me? There's diamonds there and there's diamonds right here. Wow. Hello. You missed me. Yeah, that's right. Heal up and be gone. Whew. Okay. Charging these guys, which one of you did leave a comment in my last episode. Thank you very much. That your method of fighting witches is get rid of other mobs and then just go right for it. And I agree. Going head-on first with a witch is probably the best way of going about it. Anyways. 15, so that... Alright, 2. 1. 4. 4 again. 4 again. 4 again. <laughs> 3. And 4. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was incredible. Okay, let, let, yep. Four again? Another... I think I've lost count now. Okay, that's one. That's also one. And there's a vault rock. I'm saving these vault rocks for, I think, next episode where we will hopefully be getting the altar. I realize that we won't get the altar today in this episode, but we've done a lot of good progress towards getting it, and we will definitely get it in the next episode. There we go, 53 diamonds at long last. I should probably give prop credit here. Uh, it was British Widow, my friend. Oh, baby zombie, I hate these guys. It was my friend British Widow who suggested to me to pretty much ignore this chart right here and just go for wine level 11 and mine them there. Which, I'm glad I did. I might not have hit this cave if I hadn't gone to Y level 11. So, yeah, that's that. Oh, oh, there's a dungeon here. Hello. Let's see what we got. Golden apple, that is huge. And the horse armor, I'll take that as well, as well as the saddle, because I believe these will be useful later on. All right, finally home, and we can now, we actually have 68 diamonds now, which is absolutely amazing. But what we are gonna go ahead and do now is make a full, lovely set of diamond armor right here. And I think I'm going to make an extra diamond pickaxe because I will want one with silk touch. I'm also gonna go ahead and make a diamond axe and a diamond sword. We're gonna get fully kitted out here. And we still have plenty more to make the altar when we get the purple blocks in the next episode. Next, I need to take all of these books, and I think the cheapest way of being able to do this is combining Protective 4 with Unbreaking first. So 
So protection four and unbreaking, that's only gonna cost three levels. And then take the item that we want to put it on. I don't know if this is cheaper or not. I actually don't know. I'm just going with it. <laughs> so now I need a little bit more experience, but I should be able to get that very easily using my villagers. And I think I figured out why the prices uh, went up, by the way. I think it's because I did so much trading at once that the price went up. So as you can see, the price has now gone down, which is what we like to see. Let us put the final book on this. And we can take this old arm off and we can take this new lovely arm on. As you can see, unfortunately, we only have one extra armor bar right here, down here. But the good thing is we have protection for on all of it, including on breaking. So we should be good to go. What I think I'm going to do off camera will be getting a unbreaking three efficiency five pickaxe for our main thing, and then later I will be putting Soap Touch on it. And then in the next episode, we'll be finding the Stronghold and defeating the Ender Dragon, and finally be able to craft also using the Purple Blocks, which means we also need to find an end city, and hopefully also find some wings, aka the Elytra. So, that's what we will be doing in the next episode, and once we have had the Elytra, we will easily be able to explore the world and go beyond our borders here, and find more villagers and really expand our trading hold here to contain even more of the enchanted books that we want. So that is the plan in a way, but that's gonna be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you're new, consider subscribing. Also check out my second channel if you're into farming simulator and in general other games other than Minecraft. But that's gonna be it, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.